featherweight division fight. All right, so here we go. The weight and the hype gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. Rock'em, shock him out of the shoot here. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Oh, straight right. Just misses there with the left. Nice straight punch. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Belfort's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, a little single collar tie there. the right hand. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Belfort. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Beautiful body kick. Oh! Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to that. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Belfort, his strike attempt there is blocked. <laughs> nice punch there by Lee. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Belfort. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Big body kick lands. Oh, collar tie. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the strip. This is what happens between two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Belfort. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. Belfort's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice head kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice. Nice. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Under one minute remains in round three. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Belfort. Oh, good defense here to stay upright after that single-leg takedown offering. And they separate. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. It's a beautiful strike. Lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big and kick. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch from the clinch. Belfort going for the leg kick. He does not connect. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Tags him with the left hand. 20 seconds to go. That's a big strike right there. 10 seconds to go in round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Not a ton going on. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round.
We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Belfort's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Belfort gets touched by that kick there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, tags him with that money left again. And they separate. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Big left hook coming is blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. He is throwing his entire... Oh! Seven will blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, it looks like the